So we're going to walk right up to that point and around the corner and out to the little isthmus at the end of the island today. So I'll record most of it and I'll get the drone up when we get around there, although there is a bit of a breeze come up today, so I'm not sure what it'll be like around there. But yeah, that's the plan this morning because we leave later on today. Two o'clock we're out of here and off to Chumpon. But I must say, it's been a very pleasant stay here, despite my misgivings about the uh, condition of the place and the uh, yeah maintenance of the rooms and such. As I said before though, they have been two years without an income. So those places require lots of money for uh, maintenance and I guess they just haven't had it getting ready for our departure today. Anyway, I'll record some more as we get up there towards the point. This is a look back at the island, or well, the side of the island that we're staying on. We're staying down that end down there. Beautiful. Yep. Certainly a wonderful place. Look at the colour of that water. Turquoise, is clear as crystal clear. And uh, they also have a turtle um, eco place here. Oh, there's a baby one there. There's a few baby ones there. And uh, it's a turtle breeding program. They breed them here. Repair injured ones. Oh, look at that. It's a big angel fish of some kind. Yeah, and they brood the turtles here and they release them just down here back into the ocean. There's a whole heap of babies here. Look at them, heaps and heaps of them. They think I've got food. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them here. Hi little guys. Hi little guys. No, I haven't got any food. Sorry. Hey, look at them all coming. Look. Wow. Need a big one. And uh, yeah, and they release them back into the wild. There's uh, Mama. There's Mama there. Yeah, she's a big sucker. That's a big turtle. A big, big turtle. Yeah, so um, yeah, they brood them here. They've got a whole uh, system of tanks and. Uh, they breed them and uh, release them back into the wild. It's the, uh, in conjunction with the uh, Siam Marine Rehabilitation Foundation. Yeah, so here she comes, him or he or she. She's a big one, she's beautiful. Wow. Hey, Ma. Hey, Mama. Huh? Hello. Some more babies in here. Oh, they've got their food, they've just been fed. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of them. They've got a lot of tur turtles. So all those turtles are going to get released back into the wild. How wonderful. Uh, the people that run this place are, are very much ocean ecologists. As I said before, there's one man who uh, He's devoted his life to rebuilding all the dead coral. He's got some system with PVC piping that he uh, plants the coral on and puts it on the bottom of the ocean and the coral regrows. And he uh, told Stephen yesterday it's his life's work. Oh, he's in a hurry, that dude over there. Look at him. Wow. Wow. Came through the end of the point. And this is just beautiful. 
There is a lot of rubbish up here on the beach though. But have a look at this. Incredible. We're heading up around the end of that next point up there to the isthmus. But that's just beautiful. Really is pretty. Look at this little bay here. Spectacular. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this place. Look at this little private hidden beach. Wow. Incredible. Oh, I love this place. It's been raining every day, so that's why we haven't ventured up here. This is the first day we've had sunshine, so yeah. Gonna head up the very end up there and then um, get the drone up and have a look. Bit of a trek around here, but it is absolutely pristine, apart from the garbage that people throw in the ocean. That's disgusting, human beings, we're really not learning. Not learning, we're not picking up on anything, you know. Everybody loves the ocean, everybody loves the surrounds of the ocean, and yet they fill it with garbage. It's just wrong, so wrong. So as you can see, a bit of a trek around here. The girls have slowed down, look, turn stopped. Over there in the bushes somewhere, having a rest in the shade. <laughs> and so, another little adventure in Thailand comes to uh, an end. We made it up to the tip of the island, up to this isthmus. I went right out to the very last little sand patch and had a swim and uh, it was an exhausting trek over those rocks. At one stage we had to cross through the jungle and come up the other side of the island, but still across all those rocks, it was just exhausting. It was hot, it was humid, and it was so nice to jump in that water at the end of the island there. And uh, yeah, so we get to the end of the island and basically the end of the trip, we walked back from there, had uh, packed up, had a shower, uh, a bit of a relax, packed up and got the boat back to uh, Bang Sapan Noi. And uh, it was enjoyable. It was a really enjoyable trip. I, even though it was uh, off and on raining and, and, and overcast for the first few days, and I had my misgivings about the uh, cleaners doing their job at the um, in the rooms. Uh, overall, it was quite nice, and we really enjoyed the trip. And a uh, little bit of clowning around. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, so that was the end of the trip, and. Uh, that was the last day, so it was getting cloudy again, but uh, yeah, it still remained hot, although very humid, but the water was refreshing. Got to do a few things, got to recover my drone and everything, so that was it. Check this out, will you? All to ourselves. All to ourselves. Look at it. Absolutely amazing. Out here in the jungle. Just beautiful, this little bay, hidden around the corner from where the resort is. I'm surprised no one's bothered to walk up here. It is absolutely incredible. Love it, just had a swim in the water. It was cool, crystal clear, white sand bottom. Just beautiful. Yep, this is the life. This is love letters from retirement. Thailand dreaming, this is it. This is the shit, man. <laughs>